Welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Kaylee Cottrell. Nearly 70% of charities told CAF America that they're struggling to get donations because of the coronavirus. The Florida Center for Early Childhood is one local charity that's been affected by COVID-19. The group recently had to cancel their biggest fundraising event of the year. Reporter Vanessa Galupo tells us they're now swapping out their gala with the Achieve 100 Challenge. Hi. For over 40 years, the Florida Center for Early Childhood has been one of the premier providers of early childhood services in Southwest Florida. I've seen the, the value that the Florida Center for Early Childhood provides for the community and the families. Once you get bit, bit by the early childhood bug, you know, it kind of, it stays with you. Their organization helps over 3,000 children and families every year. With the, the pandemic that we are in, we had to cancel our gala. With this usually being their biggest fundraising event of the year, they had to get creative. The Achieve 100 Challenge was something we tried to create so that we could raise funding that we would normally raise at our gala. The goal is to do 100 of something in 100 days or less. So you can walk 100 miles, do 100 acts of random kindness. We have a, a man who's eating different types of ingredients in his tacos. They want to raise $100,000 by the end of the year. 91% of those funds will go directly to supporting their programs. We have eight different programs. We help children with like developmental delays and special needs, but we also help parents, families. We have a full-time social emotional counselor to help um, parents just the parenting because <laughs> it's hard. This is one of the worthiest causes I've ever witnessed and I've ever been part of. You can sign up yourself or donate to Achievers in support of their goals. It's a magnificent, it's a fantastic organization. It's a place where, if you believe in miracles, it's a place where miracles happen. And um, I just want people to, to know more about it. So far, they've raised just over $30,000. If you want to start your own challenge or donate to others, go to achieve100.fun.